Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? Hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions, which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. I we can abolish the vision hunt decree. You've lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are some... Is this the lesson you learned from your journey? There are nations where humans cast their gods. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that brought eternity. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only 
eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream. For a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. When all said and done, all you really want... <laughs> that would be something... But is this nation worth existing? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... Hmm... I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made. But what your people need from you is not your promises. <laughs> Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra lo- But I have experienced it all. Oh, <sighs> but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you... It must have been terribly lonely here. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered... You are obviously lonely, and yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose... Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was... This is your plane of euthymia, so it can only mean... That you are happy to see me again. You have found the lone- I... Uh. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. <laughs> How- As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries, so it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. <laughs> Since you are willing to... <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will opt. But, with regards to eternity... <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. burning bright and true for all eternity. So what did you guys do in the Raiden Shogun's plane of Euthymia anyway?